As seen on TV, products are all the rage. But how do you know which ones are super and which ones are stinkers? That's easy. We're going to tell you. First up on our list of toys tested is this little guy. It's called a Mimic Me. He's just packaged in a plastic bag, which has to make it hard to breathe. So let's free him up and get him out of there. He's a cushy little creature with a big secret, but I noticed a battery compartment on the bottom, so let's get a screwdriver and pop that cover off. Oh, they included two AA batteries, which is always nice. The little tag also includes brief instructions on how to work this Mimic Me. Okay, so here I am with the Mimic Me Disgust Me version, and apparently all you do is press its foot, I guess that's what it is, and then talk, and it's supposed to repeat what you say. Let's give it a try. As seen on TV. As seen on TV. Sounds like a munchkin. Sounds like a munchkin. I'm a disgusting little critter. 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 What happened to my arms? Am I super or a stinker? Am I super or a stinker? Now I'm curious how long I can actually talk, how long it will remember what I'm saying. Let's see if it remembered that. Now I'm curious how long I can actually talk, how long it will remember what I'm saying. Let's see if it remembered that. Well, that's pretty good. It actually sounds kind of like me, I guess, if I inhaled some helium. This is the mimic me disgust me, and uh, can you remember all that? Oh, well, it's pretty good. It actually sounds kind of like me, I guess, if I inhale some helium. This is the mimic me, disgust me, and uh, can you remember all that? Well, there you go. There you go. It seems to cut off the very first part of the sentence, though. It seems to cut off the very first part of the sentence. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. All right, there you have it. Mimic Me's come in a bunch of different characters, and I really like it. I think it's a lot of fun. You could spend a lot of time with this, and you could probably prank a friend with it. So the Mimic Me is super and gets a thumbs up. Now it's time for some shooting things. This is Rocket Copters. They claim to launch like a rocket and fly like a helicopter up to 120 feet. Time to get inside and see what it's all about. I'm just going to rip this packaging open, and pull out the rocket copters and what look like some slingshots and a one page instruction sheet. The package comes with six rockets, which is always good because you inevitably lose something like this. And they each have a little button on them with an LED light so you can shoot them off at night. The slingshot seems pretty sturdy and has a heavy duty rubber band. But before we can shoot off these rocket copters, we've got to prep them. And that means making some folds in the wings. On the top of the wing, you'll see two dotted lines, and those need to be folded straight down and make a nice crease. Halfway down the little wings, there's a couple of angled dotted lines, so go ahead and fold those down as well. And when you're done, your rocket copter should look like this. Okay, let's take them outside and test them out. On the slingshot, there's a mark that says back, so you want to have that facing towards you. Then you want to hook the rocket onto the rubber band facing down. Grab the tail of the rocket, pull hard, and release. It's kind of hard to see, but that rocket really goes. With each launch, it makes kind of a cool whistle sound. And as you can imagine at night, the effect is pretty cool with the little LEDs on. They're plenty bright and make for a pretty cool effect. 
The rocket copters are a lot of fun, and I like that there's six copters and three slingshots, so the rocket copters get a shiny thumbs up. If you followed me for any of the 12 years on YouTube, you know I love shooting things, which brings me to today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. If you've never heard of it, you're about to be blown away. Raid Shadow Legends is a brand new RPG game that has amassed a whopping 10 million global users in only three months. The graphics are awesome, and along with strategic gameplay and huge boss fights, there's over 400 champions you can collect and customize. Check out these badass champions. I wouldn't want to meet any of these guys in a dark alley. The best part about Raid Shadow Legends is that it's completely free to play and new players get special login rewards for the first 90 days. This game is totally addictive and I love it and I'm sure you will too. So click the link in the description down below. When you do that, you'll get 50,000 silver and an epic champion to start your journey into Raid Shadow Legends. Who knows, you may even see me there too. Moving right along on our As Seen on TV Toys Tested, it's the Magic Pad. You can create art that glows, so let's get in the box and see what's inside. We'll pull out the tray inside where we'll find the Magic Pad, an instruction booklet, and some stencils, a black background, carrying case, the pens, and a cleaning cloth. The Magic Pad has a clear protective plastic cover on both sides, so those need to be ripped off. The instructions inform me that it takes three AAA batteries, so we'll unscrew the back cover to the Magic Pad, insert our three batteries, and lock her back up. Okay, we're good to go. Pressing the little button at the bottom of the Magic Pad cycles between off and a different color. There's a total of seven different colors. You can keep doing that, and if you continue, you'll get to where it cycles through all the different colors. The stencils include games, drawing, and learning cards. All right, so let's slide one of the cards down in the slot in the magic pad, and then taking our pens, we'll draw on the outline of the stencil. Remove the stencil and fire up the magic pad, and those neon pens glow. The effect is even better in the dark, especially if you slide that black glow boost card down in the magic pad. Then things really glow. When you want to change things up, the ink comes off pretty easily with the included cloth. On the back, there's a spot for three of those pens. They give you four, but there's only a place to hold three. There's also suction cups on the back at the top where you can hang the magic pad and a little stand that you can flip out to stand the magic pad up. Overall, the magic pad does what it says it's gonna do and it's pretty fun. So I'll give the magic pad a thumbs up. And finally on our list of as seen on TV toys tested, it's Zoom Tubes. It's an RC car track set, so let's get in the box and see what zooms. There's 12 feet of plastic zoom pieces, along with what looks like a remote control and a cool little car, as well as a USB cable. This kit came with a total of 25 pieces. That includes the curved pieces, the straightaways, and the connectors to snap everything together. The remote control takes two AA batteries, so we'll pop the cover off, load those up, and screw it back down. The little car is pretty cool. It's got a spring-loaded top piece, which I assume holds it in place in the tubes. It's got a big wheel, an on-off switch, and inside there's an LED light and also a USB connector to charge it, which we did. The curved track pieces are in half, so that means you need to put those curved pieces together and they snap in place, but you have to pay a little bit of attention because if the edges are off, like you see here, it's not gonna ride right. So make sure everything is lined up and snapped together. Keep an eye out for the one straightaway piece because that has a little door in it. That's where the car starts its race. The connector pieces join everything together with a little twist. So I built the basic design that was on the box to test it out. It uses all the pieces and doesn't really take up much space. Here we go. The car definitely zooms along and goes forward and reverse. I found it super easy, just with a few twists, to change the configuration of the track. 
With the lights out, the little car flashes red and blue and zooms along. The track designs could be unlimited, especially if you added more than one kit. Zoom Tubes is a whole lot of fun, and it makes me want to buy three or four kits and run this thing around the house. So, Zoom Tubes, you get an enthusiastic thumbs up. Well, I hope you enjoyed these as seen on TV toys tested as much as I enjoyed testing them for you. Don't forget to check out some of my other tested videos by clicking the links on the screen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.